Hello again and welcome to Optic Straight Debates. Uh, my name is Tade. My name is Theodore. Uh, we recently got <clears throat> some questions uh, from our emails what uh, that some Kales rifle scopes feature twist guard locking function. Theodore here will tell us more about this uh, very unique mechanism from mm -hmm. Kales and Theodore please if you would like to describe us. Yeah, well I explained this twist guard I think uh, in a video review of this scope uh, some time ago but we still receive emails. What is this twist guard That's about? Correct. Because people when they read about it and also when they read press release from, from Kales it was like what are you talking <coughs> about? So basically twist guard is this um, this part of the windage turret which freely rotates. Now what is the reason that this have, that they applied this and made this uh, on the turret uh, for the windage turret? The reason is that everybody hates unintentional movements of turrets. You know, you're carrying a rifle, you just hit it with a rifle somewhere or you put it in your bag or something like that or you have it with your body and, and it touches your body. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, unintentionally, the turret moves, you come to an to a opportunity to shoot, and you miss because of this unintentional, uh, unintentional movement of the turret. So, I would say all other manufacturers usually, they made their turrets, at least on the premium, uh, premium uh, products, they applied or they made locking function of tactical turrets. Let's say like on this Vortex, you apply a clicks, you push the turret down and now it's locked in the position. You're not able to change the dialed in setting. You have to unlock and then you can change. And this system works well. However, first of all, it's noisy. Every time, either on, on this Vortex or on Schmidt & Banner everywhere, this, this produces noise. Mm -hmm. This is the first thing. The second thing is, you apply a setting, you lock, and then you come into a hectic situation and you want to change immediately, you can even broke the turret, mm -hmm. or at least you, bro you break the lock. So again, in some hectic or tactical situations, and you, as you can see now, sometimes it's really hard to unlock it, uh, you can break the turret. <clears throat> and Kales found a solution for this. I would say it's still not as efficient of preventing unintentional change of the setting as pure locking mechanisms. So this is somewhere half in between, yeah. halfway uh, towards completely uh, reducing the risk of unintentional movement of the turret. But on the other side, it's solving the problem. What if I lock the turret and then I want to change immediately and I forgot that I locked mm -hmm. the turret because this turret, when you grab it, you will always be able to, to apply clicks on it. However, when you're putting the scope in your bag with, together with a rifle or anything like this, it usually only the twist guard will move, not the turret itself. Yeah, I can see so, that this uh, new mechanism is applied only on the uh, on the on the, on the windage turret and not on the elevation. Is it because of the manufacturers didn't want to redesign the turret because of this? Uh, I would say because of the t the turn indicator. Yeah. Because this would be really hard to to produce if you have a turn indicator which pops out in the second turn. Mm -hmm. So, they partially solved some problems, however, some problems stayed and they solved the problem of unintentional breaking of a, of a, yeah, of a lock. Uh, however, still I would say that uh, uh, they didn't prevent the risk of unintentional movement of turrets uh, applying unintentional clicks completely. Mm -hmm. But this is, this is the twist guard, this small circle which rotates on the windage on the windage uh, turret, this is Kales twist guard. It's also patented, so this mm -hmm. is this is really their invention. And okay, can you name some uh, positive and some negative features? You already mentioned some uh, during think, this uh, during I, this video. If you a bit clarify, a bit yeah. More. If I do a short summary, Very I would short. say it it doesn't completely eliminates, but really lowers the possibility of unintentional movement of mm -hmm. the of the turret of applying unintentional clicks. On the other side, it is solving a problem that if you forgot that uh, the lock is applied, that you would break the lock. So this is in, in one sentence. This is it. Thank you very much, Theodor. Okay, Thank this you. is about Twist Guard from Kales. If you have any additional questions uh, regarding this very unique design from Kales, 
feel free to write us an email or subscribe to our channel or simply leave a comment below. Take care until next time. Thank you.